Hi there, in this recording we're going to be talking about how to access and save your Reading Mastery lessons onto your computer before teaching virtually. To do this, you're first going to need to go to the Connect Ed website. ConnectEd.McGrawHill.com and you're going to use the jlondon at rogerbacon.net username and password that was sent to you to log in. When you arrive at the landing page, you want to go to the Reading Mastery tile and click on that tile. It will take you to the different levels. Next, you'll select what grade level that you plan on teaching. After you select your grade level, then you'll want to select your signature lesson number. Now, those of you that work at Douglas Academy, you will need to convert from plus to signature, and there is a file on the shared drive that you can use to figure out what that lesson number would be. Everyone else's lesson number should be the same. So for instance, let's say I'm going to be teaching story 100, or teaching lesson 111. When I click on it, you're gonna see several different options come up. You're gonna want the teacher material that has your storybook or like your presentation book. When you click on that tile, it'll pop up your lesson presentation book in a separate tab. You're going to want to download this and save it on your desktop. At the top of the screen, you see a little download arrow. Click on that arrow and then select where you want to save it. I've made a folder on my computer for Reading Mastery Lessons. I'm also going to rename it with its level. So I'm gonna call this one Signature K36. So this is Lesson 36 for Signature K. Then I'll click Save. Now if I exit out of this tab and I pull up that folder, You'll see here Signature K36 is now saved onto my computer and I do not need to be logged in. I can use this PDF directly from my computer. Now another thing you're going to need to download is your stories for the lessons. So to access your storybook, go back to the Browse at the top menu to bring you back to all your levels. And you're going to want to go to the Resource Library tile. In the menu under Resource Library on the left, go to Additional Resources at the bottom. On the bottom, you'll see Student eBooks. Click on Student eBooks. Then you'll go to select your level, and you'll see your storybook pop up. Now, say you have multiple storybooks, like in Grade 1, you'll see Storybook 1 and Storybook 2, so you will need to select which storybook your level or your story will be in. In kindergarten, there's only one storybook, so I'm going to open that storybook up, and you'll see here that you can navigate through your storybook using multiple different tools. You can use the arrow on the right-hand side and left-hand side to go through your pages as if you were turning the pages of a book. And then at the top, you'll see some dots and some lines, which is a contents tab. If you click on that, it'll open up your table of contents and you can go directly to your lesson, which I believe it was, we said, um, we'll do 111. So this is my story for 111. So down here, I can on the bottom, change it from having a two page view, if I click the square at the bottom, you can change it to a one page view where you view just the story or a two page view where you have the picture and the story. However, if you've ever used the storybooks before, you'll know that this picture is actually the picture from the story before and not the story that you're currently reading. So I'm going to collect, uh, click single page view. You'll notice in the storybook that you cannot download these onto your computer. So you're going to have to do these a different way. On your computer, there should be a button that says PRTSC. It stands for Print Screen. If you press that button, it will take a picture of your screen. Then you'll want to go to your Start menu and open up your Paint application. And you'll want to paste your picture into your paint. So you'll see here, now I have a picture of the storybook and then I'll want to save that file, save as a JPEG picture 
in my same folder. And then I'll want to name that signature case nine or 111 story. There is another way. Let me close out of paint. Uh, another alternative way, if you cannot find your print screen button on your keyboard, is you can use a tool on your computer. So if you hit the start button, and if you start typing snip, there is a snipping tool. Most computers have this. If you open it up, it gives you the option to make a new snip. So click the word new. Then you're going to drag your mouse, click and drag, over to highlight the part that you want to take a picture of. So I'm going to make the outline of the box fit the story. And when I release my mouse button, it will snip that picture. From here, you can save this as a picture under the Save Snip. And then you'll want to find your folder and save it by naming it again. So that's two different ways that you can um, save your storybook as a picture. All right, thank you very much.